Hey there, story lovers. Welcome back to another thrilling chapter of our tale. Today, we're diving into chapter two, where the magic of stories and the weight of fears collide in the most unexpected ways. Picture this, a cozy library, walls lined with books that hold the secrets of the past. Our young heroes, Eli Thompson, Maya Chan, and Liam Patel, are gathered around a round wooden table, the scent of old paper mingling with the aroma of hot cocoa from a nearby cafe. Mrs. Hargrove, the town librarian, stands before them, her voice a melodic hum that draws the children into the depths of North Conway's history. But oh, here's where it gets really juicy. Stay tuned as we unravel the legend of the snowman and the fears that bind our characters together. Buckle up, because this chapter is a roller coaster of emotions and revelations. Now, this reminds me of those classic tales where the setting is as much a character as the people in it. Eli Thompson, with his heart racing not from excitement but from the gnawing anxiety of an upcoming sports competition, sits at the table. The pressure looms over him like a dark cloud, each word from Mrs. Hargrove amplifying his insecurities. Beside him, Maya Chun, with her long black hair cascading over her shoulders, listens intently. Her warm brown eyes sparkle with imagination as she envisions the snowman not just as folklore but as a misunderstood creature seeking companionship. Yet, her own fear of being overlooked creeps into her thoughts, intertwining with the narrative like a vine around a tree. And then there's Liam Patel, ever the cautious one, with his arms crossed and expressive dark eyes darting between his friends and the librarian. He overanalyzes every detail, his mind racing with the implications of the snowman's awakening. What if it was more than just a story? What if the fears of the townsfolk were real, manifesting into something tangible? The chaos of change unsettles him, and he feels a chill that has nothing to do with the winter air. Oh, but here's where it gets really juicy. But what if I told you that the library, once a warm and inviting space, suddenly feels eerily charged? As Mrs. Hargrove speaks of the snowman's connection to the children's fears, a sudden gust of wind rattles the library windows, sending a shiver down Eli's spine. The atmosphere shifts, and the children exchange glances, a silent understanding passing between them. They are not just listeners. They are part of this tale, and their fears are about to take on a life of their own. In a moment of vulnerability, Eli, Maya, and Liam find themselves voicing their fears aloud each confession a thread woven into the fabric of the snowman's existence. Eli speaks of his fear of failure, his voice barely above a whisper. Maya admits her dread of being misunderstood, her heart racing as she lays bare her insecurities. Liam, with a furrowed brow, confesses his fear of change, the thought of losing his friends gnawing at him. As their words hang in the air, the temperature drops and the lights flicker ominously. The snowman, once a mere legend, begins to stir, its form shifting and growing as it absorbs the children's anxieties. Yeah, you thought it was over, think again. All right, fight me on this one. I dare you. The once cheerful town square outside transforms into a battleground of fears, the swirling snow outside mirroring the turmoil within their hearts. Determined to regain control, the children know they have to confront the snowman and their fears head on. With a shared resolve, they step out of the library, the festive lights now casting long shadows that dance around them. The air is thick with anticipation, and as they venture into the snowy woods, they feel the weight of their fears pressing down, but also the flicker of courage igniting within. The chapter closes with the children entering a virtual reality world, a realm where their fears would take physical form, and the snowman awaits them a menacing figure that embodies their darkest emotions. Together, they will face the chaos, determined to reclaim their town and their hearts. I know you're thinking what I'm thinking, or maybe I'm just that predictable. But trust me, this is just the beginning of an epic showdown.